it's half full of water plop okay plonk it on which is filling the gaps look they're all nice and full right to the edges but they've left these this mortar poking up let's grab it squish it on there one swipe okay and at speed it looks like this it's not that fast but not bad This is another technique I've been working on because I'm not dead pleased about how full my joints are when I'm uh, picking and dipping these days. So check this out. Okay, so basically. Okay, demo. One towel full of mortar, one brick. Pop the mortar down, plop the brick down, and you're basically squeezing the mortar out at the back and the front, and then you're lifting it back up, and these peaks of mortar here, you're picking them up, smashing them against that brick there leaving a totally full head joint and then one swipe and you're away okay quick demo press up squash one swipe okay usually you don't have to touch the lights because check out the thumb the thumb's in the hole as well so ready bosh bosh one swipe okay Down, up, squash. A little bit slower than normal pick and dip, but you're absolutely guaranteed full joints. I got into it because the inspector was being so OCD about the joints at the back that I really wanted a way of filling them, so I was squelching the ring down. And it worked. Felt it down, back up. Because your thumb's out of the way, it's just no, you just don't want to crash the line with your thumb. Check out the spot boards, Andy. We've got a spot board with the planks under. It's not a bad set, okay. Right, I'll go back to normal picking it now, see if it's a lot quicker. Okay? It definitely is quicker, I know that's a fact. But in time, the joints just aren't as full. When 
your water's a bit low like that, again, squelch it down, just nick that bit there. 